Hello, I'm Teresa Pereira, painter, art teacher, and resident of Yonkers. I've headed up several on-site art workshops at the Hudson River Museum, and I welcome you to my first virtual art lesson, which will be inspired by Susan Hall's 1978 painting, Moving Home, which is on exhibit at the museum until August 9th. This piece takes on new meaning in these times of sheltering in place. Rather than moving from home to another place, we are staying home to live, work, and survive. Her painting references the home inside all of us, which we are always seeking, leaving, journeying to, or exploring. So you may choose to make either this version with the hot air balloon, which is slightly easier to make than this version with the helicopter, which is truer to Susan Hall's original painting. If you choose to make the helicopter version, you will need the template, which you can print out. There's a PDF available on the website. And this portion of the demo is at the end of the main portion of the demo with the hot air balloon. You will also need Crayola crayons. We are making a collage version of the painting. So it's a collage, not a painting. So I've used Crayola crayons and we will cut out our shapes with a pair of scissors. So you'll need that. You will also need pencil to draw your shapes. And then you will attach your shapes with glue. I've used Elmer's glue that I pour in a container and a brush. You may also use a glue stick for this, but you'll probably go through the whole glue stick. And then for the building portion at the bottom, here, I've used a combination of construction paper and regular drawing paper, or you may use computer paper, different colors, which you can color to make an even more custom color, and that'll be cut out as well. And the last thing that you will need is a Sharpie, a fine tip Sharpie or a fine tip black marker to do these little details, whether you do the helicopter version or the balloon version, okay? So that's it, and let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing our background sunset, which is here. I'm gonna pull out our crayons, I already did, and I set them up to match the color spectrum, the rainbow, purple, blue, teal, a little bit of green, we're not gonna do a lot of green, yellow, then this peachy orange, orange, a little orange red, and then red. Okay, and that's how we're going to add color to this. Set them up the way you want there. And then start off with the purple on top. And you're going to go light because it's always easy to add, much harder to take away. Okay, so start with horizontal strokes across the top. You can always come back and add more if you want. Heavier stroke at the top. Have your pressure, and then as you get lower, because you're gonna blend into the next color, you're gonna lessen your pressure. Okay, and that's enough there. I can go back and add more purple if I want to. And I'm gonna go back to the next color, which is the blue. And then you do the same thing, overlap a little bit so there's some blending. And then go down. There's a lot of blue, so you can, you know, do more, be more free with the blue. Try to go horizontal with your strokes so that it looks like the horizon line. If there's an angle, go back and correct it like I'm doing. And then the same thing, I'm going to just go lighter because I'm going to add, start going into the teal. And again, you can go back and add more color. This is just your first pass to get a, the paper covered. I feel like I need more purple, so I'm going to go back and add more purple. Mm 
Make sure your lines are straight. So you don't want to carve to rise in line. And then add more blue. Deepen it. And you don't want to show the strokes. You're trying to make this as smooth as possible. Okay, I'm going to go back to my next color in a minute. Just lighten your texture, your stroke as you get into your next blend area. It's going to be the teal here. Start light. Blend on top of your blue. Okay. Soften that as you get to the next area. All right, so I'm going to continue this until you get to the orange in the bottom. Okay, so now I've gotten the first layer done. I'm going to go back over it with all the colors so that I get a nice deep, you know, the, the effect that I want that I got here. This was a couple of passes of color and that helps blend it more and make the colors richer. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so we've got the second coat all done. And now one more thing before we start the collage process. I'm gonna get white. Remember I told you how with um, oil pastel and color pencil, white is a great blender. So I've used this already, so I have to peel the white. You get white ready. And what I did for this is I went the opposite direction. It has a slight texture to it, a vertical horizontal texture, and that's because I used the white to blend it. <coughs> so what you just do, you can put some white over here to show like a bright spot in the sky. And you can kind of blend this way. And then you take the white and you just go vertically across the whole thing. And it just blends it. Okay. You see how I was blending it? Start sort of at the top you saw where I started and pull it down pull it into the next color push hard so that you blend it the bottom gets covered by the collage so you don't have to worry about that too much okay so let's continue that All right, now that the background is all done, blended in, now we're gonna focus on the collage elements, which is a cityscape, and then um, what's in the sky, which I'm gonna have a hot air balloon, and I'm still gonna do the house, because I like the idea of the house. Uh, and the other thing that you're gonna need, which I forgot to mention, is a black marker, or a black pen, or a black Sharpie. This gets drawn on, don't worry about those. So what I've done for this cityscape, I have construction paper and I've lightly drawn in the cityscape the buildings as part of it there are two layers so I've drawn it in here lightly <coughs> and I've drawn it on this lightly and how I got this this is just you know like a manila um, construction paper that I colored I use a couple of colors so I got this nice color and texture and you just color it Do a um, nice deep color by going to different, two different colors, and that's basically how I did it. And I chose the blue because, again, this is what was in Susan Hall's painting, and I really like that. Blue and teal are also opposites of orange and red, and it's a sunset, and we want that to stick out. So that's why I didn't choose any warm colors. I chose the cool colors to do that. 
So what I do is with my scissors, after I've drawn it in, you can go back over and make your lines. You see if the light sketch, I, I always lightly sketch, as you guys know, because you can erase. So I'll do that here. If you need to cut and want to make sure you can see your lines, after you've sketched and you liked what you have drawn, cut it out, then you can go back over with the pencil. Make sure your lines are straight because buildings are straight. They're square. Um, this one reminds me of a modern building. That's why I did a slant there. And then it kind of goes off the page because you're going to center it after you cut it. Okay, so now you can cut. You can cut excess off first. It's kind of easier to cut if you go right into the curves as close as possible. And then So I basically have finished cutting my first layer of the cityscape. Just go back over now and just to make sure, look at it, just to make sure it's everything straight and clean. I do cut off all the pencil lines. Okay. And let's place it on here, see how it looks. All right. I'm going to center that because I'm going to cover those edges with my secondary. All right, so now you can glue it. And remember I said to use a piece of this scrap. If you liked, if you like it this way better, you can turn it that way too. It also covers the pencil lines. I think I like it better this way. All right, so use your scrap, get your glue. And your brush. And you go ahead and get a nice, don't overdo the glue, just a nice thin coat is enough. Make sure you get the edges because that's where it curls if you don't have enough glue there. Almost done. Spread it out. Any kind of thick glob, spread it out. Okay. And then center that on top. I'm actually going to put it up a little higher here so because that bottom layer is going to be covered. And then make sure it's nice and straight and then carefully pat it down okay now you look at the second layer and I want that to go across all the way and do the same thing here with your pencil go back over the lines and make sure it's nice and dark so you can see when you cut This one's going to be wider because I want this to go off the page so I can trim it off afterwards. Okay, and then you cut this out.
almost done. One more cut. Okay. And that is the foremost layer. So just position that to see where it looks best. And I like it right about there. And if you wanted to use the other side too, but it's too bright for me. I like this color better and I like the texture. If you have a nice color on the other side, feel free to do that. Or, okay, so I'm gonna go here and do the same thing. <clears throat> Glue it. All excess. Is going to be cut off. Glue twice, put down once. It's like measure twice, cut once. Just make sure it's well coated. And then position it. Make sure it matches to the bottom edge. This is a nice straight piece. So I'm going to go edge to edge and make it nice and straight. Lay it down straight on the edge first, the bottom edge, and then go ahead and glue it all the way down. Okay. Wait for it to dry or you can cut it off now. I'm going to cut it off now. Okay, that's my cityscape. Now the sky, what's going to put up, what I'm going to put up in the sky is drawn out really lightly over here, my house and my hot air balloon. So again, with your pencil, now you can clean up. You're going to color right around this anyway, but you want to make sure your lines are clean first. See how I'm sketching? I'm going to do the doors and stuff until I'm done coloring. I just want to mark them out there. Okay, and now you color. So my hot air balloon, my hot air balloon, I'm going to put polka dots on it just because why not. And it's going against the blue, so let's do like an orangey color. Let's do orange and purple, they're opposite colors. So my background, first actually clean up your edges. Before you color, that doesn't get covered with crayon. Go over the edge because you're gonna cut it. If you don't go over the edge, you don't. You might have some paper showing and we don't want the paper showing. And we'll put some, leave some spots for the polka dots. and then color. And again, if you want to put an airplane or a helicopter, what else flies in the sky? I love hot air balloons, so the idea of a house being floated on a hot air balloon is a nice one to me, and so I did that. And it's like Up with all the balloons. This is the movie Up. I think that's a nice way to travel. And if you want to do that, you can do a whole bunch of little circles with color construction paper and do the up scene if you wanted. Let's go outside your edge. The only time I'm saying it's okay to go out the edge. I'm not used to it either. Okay. Okay. And now you can do the purple. You can go outside the edge of this too. You can leave the texture if you want, you can blend it, 
This always goes lighter to blend. See how that yellow blended that? And the house section is going to be a little bit lower. It'd still be mostly blue. So see if you're going to put it over here. I'm going to have the balloon go off the page a little bit. You can have it at an angle. You can have it straight. So if it's going to be in this area here, I probably will go so orangey with maybe a red house. We can go really fun and go pink. That'll help pop it. And the color, the do the house I mean the doors and stuff after and one thing I did here is I did a light to dark area you can do that you can do ombre you can keep all the same color that's up to you it is a sunset so the sun will be on the bottom so you can kind of do like a purplish color here that goes into the pink an ombre so it looks like it's you know um, the, light, the sun is shining on it that's fine there's the sunlight kind of shining on it so you can do that ombre and this is just drawing paper if you have computer paper you can use that you can even do this on construction paper and add more color to it. Hmm. Like the roof. Yeah. Do. Let's do a purple roof. And then you cut these out. Nice and crisp. Cut them out separately because we're going to glue them down separately. Of roof on. Okay, the house. And the little piece of roof fell off. There it is. I'm gonna glue that back on. I'm gonna cut out the balloon. Let's glue that on here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here. So I'm having the balloon go off the page. I'll have it go straight. There's no wind. And then the house is going to go here. Okay, same thing. Just scrap paper. Don't want to use my corner of the roof there. on some glue. Little dabble do you too much glue curls the paper and everything gets curled. Balloon. 
corner. Okay, almost done now. Okay, almost done. Last thing we do, it's just with with um, Sharpie. Add the little details of the house. So I had a door here, a little window here, a little window here. balloon is attached to the house. And that's it. Make sure you sign it. Okay, so for the um, airplane, the helicopter portion with the house that is based more truly to Susan Hall's uh, version her painting um, you're just going to print out the template and then uh, the colors I chose I kind of went with purple on top which is followed the um, the the actual skyline went to purple to pinks to yellows same thing with the house I started at the top purple to pinks to yellow so get your colors ready here they're all lined up by the side over here. And then you just really just, this is printer paper. You're just gonna color straight across. Your lines will be visible underneath. So it's the same process as that, um, the skyline that we did. You sort of go from the top and you lighten your stroke as you go lower and you blend it so that you can have that nice ombre effect. Go to your next color, it's more of a, like a magenta color, an overlap. I'm going to go across the whole page, the whole, not the whole page, the whole um, helicopter. And let me switch to time lapse so you can see the whole process. Okay, so that's basically it. I actually cut them out, the house and the helicopter, and then the process from there is the same as the hot air balloon. Glue them into place. Um, I did not cut out the uh, helicopter legs. You may, if you are patient enough to do that. I drew them in with marker right on the paper after I glued it down and I used marker for the rope that attaches the house to the helicopter. And that's it. That's the moving home collage. Hope you enjoyed this.